Alex from LP Power here and welcome to our supercar build show. The wheel hubs have finally arrived. I have to thank Paul Boratko aka Crow Killers and his wife for supplying them. You can find the link to their Bricklink store in the link down below. After examining them I'm left very disappointed. Let me explain. Firstly there's the mounting points. Instead of making them axle holes they made them pin holes which limits the mounting options. This is useless for everything except the awkwardly designed suspension of the new Formula 1 supercar. You just can't mount the wheel hubs without them having a lot of slack. And this is just the housing. Secondly, and we're still at the housing, the sides are not flush. So you can't mount them straight to a lift arm with both pinholes connected. I have sanded down the sides to show you what I mean. On one side we have the stock part and on the other the modified part. The modified part is much easier to mount to anything. And the last bit is a slack in the bearing. When you insert the rotating part, you get even more slack. What were they thinking? Obviously, LEGO is not considering all the potential uses of such specialized parts when designing them. So, with a lot of effort, I've integrated those hubs into the E30. In the front, the result is pretty good. The geometry has changed a bit, but from what I've seen, all the angles are correct and have even improved. I have also made a better mounting point on the top of the shock absorber. The bottom is made with an improvised version of the new 1x5 lift arm that can be found in the new F1 car. But since I don't have those yet, I made my own for now. The rear, on the other hand, is much worse. Because of the aforementioned flaws of the hub housings, the hubs still have a lot of slack. If you want to see details, just look at the pictures in the description down below. Now I have a question for you, which you can answer down in the comments. Should I continue to use the unmodified hubs and try to make them work? Or do you allow me to use the modified hubs and make them as stiff as possible? In the meantime, I will start working on the body of the car, so we can have a stiff body in the next episode where the suspension flaws will show even more. See you next time.